we spent a day in Sramban, savoring some of the best local street food, visiting the Tensi Temple, and hike at the third highest mountain in Negeri Sembilan, that's Gunung Angsi. We have a separate video about Tensi Temple and our hiking trip, but in this video, we want to focus on the best street food in Sramban, plus our visit to the Sramban Lake Garden, where the oldest rubber tree in Malaysia is located. Let's go! No food trip in Sramban is complete without a visit to Pasar Basar Sramban. According to Mr. Poon, our local friend, there are four primary street food we must savor there. The local call them collectively as the Four Heavenly King, Shi Da Tian Wang. The first one, Mi Hun Sotong. It is a rare combination to serve cuttlefish with rice vermicelli, which is Sramban's local specialties. The noodles are served with pork slices and cuttlefish and doused in a thick savory soup-like gravy. The second one, Hakami. The noodles are mixed with a concentrated broth and topped with minced pork and spring onions. The third one is Cheng Ki Lai Fan. The store is the oldest in the market and the noodles are served with minced meat. Don't miss out this store. The last one was beef noodle. Unfortunately, the store was closed. So we head to another store with a similar name, which is Yi Ji Beef Noodles. The noodles are served with beef slices, tendons, peanuts, salted vegetables, and sesame seeds. That is a stark difference from the beef noodles we have in Kuala Lumpur. We went to the famous Haji Shari Chandul shop in the afternoon for a bowl of chandul. It's a large green painted corner shop and you won't miss it. It was scorching hot and it's the best time to enjoy chandul. The shop was crowded and we need to queue for our turn. It's a family business that started in the early 1930s. Initially, the chandul was sold in a bamboo basket. Subsequently, the second generation has changed it to a push cart. And today, the third generation of the family expand the business by moving into the present premise. However, they still retain the same taste as it was at the beginning of the business. The chandor has an interesting layers of sweetness from the green pandan worms, sweet corns, glutinous rice, boiled red beans and so on, and of course the fresh coconut milk. With a full stomach, we took a break from our food hunting journey to visit the Sramban Lake Garden. The first rubber trees of Negri Sembilan was planted here. The tree is dated back to 1877 when a rubber seeding was brought from England to Malaysia. That was the beginning of Malaya's rubber industry. This public park is a familiar place for Surambanians to jog and exercise, especially in the evening. We took a divert to a place called Taman Malaysia next to the public park, but unfortunately, it's not properly maintained. We are back on our feet for more food hunting. Next, Lisa Road Food Center. The most famous store is Fa Ki, which sells the best dry scallop noodles. It has been a stable for the locals for the past 50 years run by father and son. I was surprised by the generous amount of the dry scallops. They also offer other choices such as fish balls, meat balls, fried pork balls made with turnips and flour. And we order a little bit of everything to try. We 
besides that, we also tried the fried siu mai at one of the stores on the street. Not a big fan, but it's different from the conventional steamed siu mai. To wrap up our food hunting trip, we stopped by at Siu Bao Asia to get some famed Shiran Ban Siu Bao. The shop practice an open kitchen where you can see them preparing and baking. That's all for our food trip in Suramban. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.